A hawk that normally migrates between Florida and South America dies in Maine after losing its feet to frostbite. And an eagle that should be hunting on the sea ice north of Japan right now is somewhere in Maine, we think. Those are just two examples of recent sightings of birds that historically had no business being here. And as New Center Maine's Jack Mulmud shows us in our continuing series on Maine's changing climate, it's something we should all get used to seeing. I don't know what could possibly top this. By now, you've seen the headlines. Were you able to see it? Yes. And the crowds. I mean, the restaurants are full in the area and people are staying over and you know, it's great. Packed on one side of the road, you couldn't tell the difference between a Mainer and a tourist. All lined up for a chance to see this tourist. The stellar sea eagle gracing onlookers with its presence usually only in the morning. I'm here pretty early for a yeah. retired person. If this massive yellow beak could talk to us, it would have a story of a lifetime. With laser sharp eyesight and nearly double the weight of a bald eagle, it would probably tell you all about the fish it ate on its long travels. And it may ask itself, where is that large automobile? Over on that bridge over there with the tourists. And it may also tell itself, this is not my beautiful home. And that's because the stellar sea eagle is more than six thousand miles away from its home, which is here in Siberia. Now it managed to find its way across the Pacific Ocean down to Texas. And then from Texas, it managed to find its way up to Maine. But scientists are still baffled as to why the eagle is here in the first place. I think, uh, if anything, anytime we talk about rare birds showing up from, from far distances, uh, this has kind of set a, a high bar. Doug Hitchcocks with the Maine Audubon tracks the stellar sea eagle's whereabouts and he publishes it on the Audubon blog page. It's funny to think of what, what factors could be influencing where it goes when. Hitchcocks said it may be here because its nest back in Russia was disturbed. Now it's adjusting to life in America. You know, it probably is here in all these funny you know, all the local eagles that have these funny accents. They say ahs instead of ours. And while its presence here is exciting, it's also forecasting other rare birds that will be here. Ones that, under normal conditions, would never even dream of coming to vacation land. So we see this kind of pattern of a lot of birds expanding their range northward. He says it's because of climate change. It's fun for, you know, Maine birders to get to see these unusual things, but to also think about like why they're here can sometimes be a little concerning. We are already seeing that impacting local birds. Good morning. morning. How are we doing? Great, thank you. Josh Bauer with the Center for Wildlife in York says every species of Maine birds has or will be impacted by climate change. Good morning, Violet. Big there we go. Oh, so big six foot wingspan there for you. Like the turkey vulture. Very lucky to have an ambassador like Violet with us. Kristen Melvin, who also works with the Center for Wildlife, says Maine only started to see the turkey vulture here back in the 90s. Uh, so they are now starting to stick around through the winter. Step up. Good girl. Other species, like the eastern screech owl, have been spotted here in Maine, but the warmer winters we've already been seeing are allowing them to breed and live here. Lucy, the eastern screech owl. All right, good morning. Hi, Finn. Hi, Byron. And then we have the barred owl, a Maine native that's seemingly been here forever but is now threatened by extreme weather brought on by climate change. And how powerful their, uh, their grips can be and how great their talons are, it still is near impossible for them to break through a thick layer of ice when snow is being compacted with rain, with more snow, with more freezing rain on top. Meaning that the owls can't get through the frozen snow in order to get mice. At the Center for Wildlife, they're bracing for a future of climate impacts, while onlookers back on the midcoast admire the gift of the present. One of the coolest parts, right? You know, it's um, it's such a mystery. There's so many unknowns to this. A bird that stops traffic, eats Canada geese, and fully embraces the vacation land way of life. In Georgetown, Jack Molmut, New Center, Maine. The stellar sea eagle drew such a crowd in Georgetown this year, the town closed Flying Point Road to traffic because vehicles carrying bird watchers churned up so much mud, the road became impassable. 
As for the eagle, it has not been spotted since last Wednesday.